Well, I just wanted to tap in today. Whether I show my face or not, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something or write a post or something. But I just got off work and I'm tired. <laughs> I, I I don't see how people don't be tired. Like like people say we need we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta like authentic podcast said, um on one of his videos, um, when people get off work, they tired. Like, when do people have time to, you know, work on their business or either themselves? Like, we are human and our bodies can only do so much. And I work, I, I work a temp job, work from home. But even though I don't have to, like, you know drive a car to get to work every day you know working eight nine ten hours a day 40 hours a week 60 hours a week how many you know how many hours i work is very exhausting and we shouldn't have to live like this <laughs> we shouldn't have to work so many hours be tired all our money goes to bills. Well, most of us. I know some, I know some people, like, I'm trying to be a licensed attorney. I'm trying to be in a, lic a licensed attorney. And some people I went to school with are already licensed attorneys making decent money or adequate money. You know, some people work in the bank. I've been trying to get into Wells Fargo. Bank of America, Truris. I applied at literally every bank. Um, TD Bank. But anyway, yesterday I um yesterday I did live for a few hours, and one thing I noticed is that I picked up a passenger from. Um, Wingstop, and usually when you pick up somebody from like a restaurant, they going home or something, but they going home from work. But he was actually going to his next job, <laughs> and it really doesn't matter how much you work. Well, I take that back. I say if your expenses are low and you um, manage your money properly, which most people don't, then I feel like you could come up, you know, if your expenses are really low, you got a plan, you, you're you not eating out, you're not um, buying alcohol, not buying marijuana, you're not, you know, buying a whole bunch of clothes, you stay down for like maybe five, ten years, your expenses are really low, I feel like you can come up. But we, we, we wasn't taught that. We, we, wasn't, we wasn't taught that. You know, growing up, we wasn't taught to, to not spend money. Don't, don't save your money. Invest it. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about today is um, working working harder won't it, it really shouldn't take all this it really shouldn't take all this but for me <laughs> the way that the world is now I feel like I'm going through probably what my parents were going through when they were you know in the 90s raising me you know because from a young child it was never enough money Bills weren't getting paid. Um, light, lights were getting cut off. Um, sometimes we didn't have any water. We didn't have any running water. We didn't have any hot water. I remember boiling water to wash up. Boiling water, um, putting in a microwave because we didn't. We didn't even have a stove. We didn't even have a refrigerator. We we didn't have a washer and dryer. 
So life has always been hard to where where is the money going to come from to pay your rent or the bills or light bill or you know you know or the car note or you know it, it, uh, like uh, people are going through it now and they probably have never experienced life like this you know, it's stressful to me, but it's like, I will never say this is the norm, or this is my norm, or I'm used to this. I will never say that, but it's like, like it feels like the 90s when I was growing up. That's what it feels like, and I just feel so bad for people. I feel bad for myself. But I just feel bad for people because a lot of people have never, ever in their life, you know, have been in a position where they have, you know, worried about bills or their future or they thought by going to college that everything was going to be okay. So... It's heartbreaking to see all the videos out there of people, you know. <laughs> I guess people going to have to... To me, honestly, I believe that... I don't even know who controls the world, but it seems like they want people to um, shack up. You know, I don't, I'm not opposed to getting a roommate or having a roommate. That's probably what it's going to come down to for me anyway. Because, <laughs> uh... The rent, I mean, the, the, the job I ain't jiving, you know, how I wanted to. But I'm not opposed to it. But it seems like they want people to come together um, to procreate. You know, men and women living together. I don't want to live with a man. Um, I mean, I would, but I don't want to shack up with a man. If that if that makes sense, like you know, I, cause I'm not I'm not I'm not somebody that's trying to procreate, you know. Um, so if I ever had a male roommate, it would just be that, and I would I would never want him to, you know, come on to me or anything like that, and that's why I would, wouldn't want a, a male roommate anyway because. Just to avoid that, cause you you, you never know, but be under the same roof with the opposite sex. I just don't want anything to happen to me where I get pregnant and I just I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I'll be worse off. I'll be struggling even more. But it seems like I don't know people, single people are not gonna be able to do a four. A one bedroom house, I mean, a one bedroom apartment, or uh, even be able to save up for a house, a studio apartment, depending on, unless you downgrade, super downgrade, but I'm not sh even sure how much of a ground downgrade that a person can tolerate because if you downgrade too much then that can affect your mental health um I believe I honestly strongly believe your environment is very important to your mental health your success um I've lived in the beautiful two beautiful two beautiful communities in Raleigh North Carolina I honestly regret mo moving from Raleigh North Carolina um, place I lived that that I moved from this year I lived for I lived there for four years and you know when my lease was coming up to end my circumstances were a little different and now they're changed so I honestly wish I could too bad we can't go back in time because I would I would just stay there 
that made more sense to stay there. I would have saved money on moving fees and stuff like that. And I really miss the environment there. It was peaceful, quiet, you know, child free for the most part. Because it was an apartment that didn't have any swing sets. <laughs> you know, nothing catered to children there. They didn't have any parks. A dog park, but nothing, you know, that screamed bring your children or something like that. I think, I think it was one couple who had a baby. And that was the only baby I ever seen there, ever. It would cry sometime in the hallway, but for the most part, it was just elderly people and singles. Most people have roommates, but probably have roommates. I don't know. But two, you got two, yeah, studios, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. So I can imagine that if you got a two, three bedroom, you probably got a roommate. So I had a studio, but the, that, the layout was pretty decent. It was 635 square feet, which is a decent size for a studio. And I haven't seen any studios. Well, I've seen one that was like the same square footage. Most studios are like 400 square feet, 500 square feet. At this point, I'm just rambling. And I really didn't have a topic for today, but other than this world is uh people people are very people are very hopeful i will say that <laughs> me i'm a real i'm a realist and it's a scary feeling to think about the future it's a, it's a scary feeling because honestly I don't see it getting any better. I don't see, you know, I don't see prices going down. Um, of anything, I don't think prices go down unless there's a recession and um, um, you know, people stop buying certain items like um, certain people, you know, discretionary items. People go always buy food. I think people gonna always go out to eat. Um. Not as much, but people gonna always go out to eat. Um, somebody got some money somewhere, especially uh, young people probably just keeping this economy running. Is young people. My nephew sent me some pictures of him. I think, um, I think he was at a bar or something. I'm just looking like, <laughs> well, you know, in my twenties, I was doing this probably doing the same thing and not thinking like ten, in 10 years I'm I'm not going to be able to find a job or have money problems so it's really nothing that we can say to younger people to make them you know save money and not go out and think about the future because when you in college you're not thinking like in 10 years I'm going to be struggling or you the people who go to college to get a job or, you know, increase their finances. So, I can't tell my nephew, you know, um, I can't, I can't tell him that his circumstances will be like mine. He, he could be, he could get a good job in six figures. He could move up in his job or, you know, so just because I had, you know, struggled and whatever finding a job and things like that doesn't mean that he will but I encourage young people to save their money I mean I know they're not they're gonna buy a lot of stuff they don't need clothes shoes you know eating out if I can go back in my 20s I sure would save way more money not go out not eat out 
fast food. And I buy a lot of fast fashion clothes and things like that. Any time will teach you. Um, but like I said, in my opinion, in my experience, I don't, I don't see it get any. I don't see this economy uh, improving. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what Kamala Harris. She said she gonna lower the uh, prices of housing, groceries, and what's that? Housing, groceries, and healthcare. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I don't know how she's gonna do that, but the people are very hopeful. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see this world getting any better. I just don't. People gonna have to um, just come together and um, work together, live together. Two, three. All people in, in a house or an apartment just uh, I don't know if people gonna work it you know it's more and then it's more and more people coming into the world so <laughs> jobs are not hiring They're hiring a few people but not not a lot of people some people are lucky to get a good, a good job yeah. No, I just, I don't see the world getting any better.